Hey guys, Rob here at 3D Printscape. So today's video is going to be covering how to change the max temperature settings in Marlin to allow you to take advantage of the all metal hot ends like the Creality Spider one that I have. One of the settings stands out, it's pretty obvious, the max temperature setting, um, but there's been a lot of people who have reached out and say that they had builds and they changed the max temperature setting, uh, but they still can't get to the temperature they set in the firmware. The main reason for that is also the overshoot setting. So I'm going to show you what you have to change in the firmware to be able to actually get to the temperatures you want. Overall, the process is easy, but it does require you to know how to build firmware and have uh, VS Code installed. So I have videos covering those. Uh, I would recommend starting there if you've never built firmware. Uh, this video, like I said, does assume that you do know how to build firmware and that you have Marlin already downloaded and uh, loaded in VS Code. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, but before we do, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks. Alright guys, so here at the computer, I've got VS Code up with the latest bug fix version of Marlin, and there are a couple of values we really need to look at when we're trying to set the max temperature. Uh, the one makes sense, it's the max temp, so we're going to jump there really quick, so just search for max temp, so control F, max temp. If you only have one extruder, you only have to worry about setting this first one. Um, now this is the maximum temperature before it triggers failure or error. So you want to overshoot this a little bit. Uh, so if you wanted to get to 300, there's a couple options. Um, if you just put straight 300 in here, you're going to end up with an issue because A, with the overshoot, uh, which is the temperature it can get to sometimes when it's actually heating up it'll overshoot so you don't want to let it get anywhere near the actual max temperature so the default overshoot value is 15 degrees so if you were to set that to 300 and not change anything uh, this will allow you to go up to 275 so the default value is 275 it allows you to go up to 260. As I mentioned in the start of the video, make sure the thermistor you're using can't support 300. The glass ones that come stock can't, uh, so you will need to switch those out with a metal one that can. So uh, that should be a prereq to doing this. If you have like the spider hot end, which I've got a video covering that as well, um, it comes with the high temp thermistor, so you'll be able to use that. All right, so let's say I wanted to go to 300. You have a couple options. You can either set this to 300 and zero degree offshoot, but you might potentially run into a uh, error, or actually probably will run into an error if it overshoots that by a degree. Uh, so what I like to do is I set this to 305 and I set the uh, overshoot to five degrees. That gives some um, buffer so that it's not an issue and you're not gonna actually throw any warnings in the build itself. I think you can go up to 325 uh, without the actual logic built into Marlin actually killing the build saying the temperature's too hot. Another thing you can do if you don't wanna change the overshoot in the firmware is you can set this to, I don't know, 310, and um, there is a G-code command. It's a custom G-code command, so it's gonna be C104, U1, and then your T, whatever temperature. So let's say uh, 310. Um, if you do 310 here and you don't change the stock overshoot, that'll allow you to go up to 295. Um, so you can get, do uh, T15 here if you wanted to, that'll let you go up to 300, but you can still trigger a temperature error if you actually hit that max that you have set back in Marlin. So like I said, what I did for my build was I did 305 with an overshoot of 5, or you can do 315 with an overshoot of 15. Either way, the results are going to be the same. Um, but those are the only two changes you need to make. And then you can go to um, your auto build plugin and just go ahead and build based on the board you have. So I'll do that really quick. Uh, if you haven't worked with this firmware before. I've got videos covering how to get started, setting up VS Code, setting up the plugins you need, and one covering the Marlin Auto Build plugin. If you're using Marlin, um, I recommend using the Auto Build plugin because the uh, environments change, uh, I wouldn't say frequently, but often enough that if you're not going back through and checking, you're going to run into errors, and then you don't actually have to set the environment in the platform io to Adonai file if you're doing it this route. So once you have the build, you would just take your .bin file here, put it on the SD card, uh, put that SD card in the printer, and go ahead and restart the printer or power it on if it was already off. 
like I said at the beginning, the process really isn't difficult. I'm making this video uh, because there was a lot of confusion around the overshoot and people asking questions saying like, hey, I set the temperature to 300, but I still can't go to 300. Um, the overshoot is the tricky part, and that's the reason why, or not really tricky, but confusing part. Um, but if you have any questions about what I covered here or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. All right, so this is what Marlos can give you if you don't change your temperature settings. So you'll be able to go up to 260. The reason for that is it's set to 275 in the firmware and it has a 15 degree um, overshoot setting. So that will give you 275 minus your 15, which puts you at 260. So I can't go beyond that right now. So now let's go ahead and load the other firmware. I'll show you that I can get to 300. All right, so this is with the new firmware that we just built installed. It should allow me to go up to 300, which it does. Now again, make sure you have the right thermistor. Those little glass ones that come with the printer by default will not work at this temperature. You're gonna have a lot of issues. All right guys, so that covered changing the max temperature settings in Marlin. Uh, like I said, there are a couple options in there. Um, I recommend just changing the overshoot and the max temperature to get to what you want between the two. Uh, I set it to 305 with an overshoot of five. That'll allow me to go to 300 and give a little bit of a buffer. Uh, I would still use the overshoot in some fashion so that you don't have issues if it goes above while trying to maintain. Uh, because if it does, you're gonna end up getting a temperature error on the printer. But if you have any questions about what I covered or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.